I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International and today I'm going to show you how to create auction maps. What, I'm, what I do for my website is in, at Yorkshire International I create these foreclosure auction maps. So what I do is I review all the auctions that are happening and then I put them onto a map for, form for a given month. And I've been delinquent in keeping up with this, and that's how I'm going to show you how to do this. So, for instance, the last time I did it was October, so I'm about six months behind on doing it. I'm not going to do it retroactively because the, in the past history doesn't help. It's something that's only good for the upcoming month. So given the fact that it's the middle of the month, it's the 17th of April, I'm going to do the month of April, and... Uh, to show how this is created. But basically what we do is we create a Google map and this is by importing an Excel spreadsheet. Unfortunately the data doesn't come in in a nice format um, so I have to create this Excel spreadsheet kind of tediously and I'm going to show you how to do it. But once created it's a real nice handy map that allows me to click on each one of these items and show all the information about a given auction property. So let's go ahead and do this. The data comes from a website called sarasota.realforeclose.com. If you simply search for R4C Sarasota, foreclose 4C, it'll take you to this site. You don't have to log in or anything. This is public data. This is where you go to both find the auctions to bid on and to actually bid, bid on them. But we're just looking at the auction calendar to look at the upcoming auctions. So when you click on the auction calendar, it's going to take you to a calendar. And we can see that on um, the first day of April, on the 3rd, there were 13 foreclosure auctions. There were two the next day and six and so on and so forth. I want to capture all of these, but there's no way to download this month. And so what we have to do is we have to line, basically line by line copy and paste this into an Excel spreadsheet. Now I have a clever little way of doing this, and so I'm going to open an Excel spreadsheet. And this one has macros built into it to help speed the process. Um, so I'm going to open an old one the last time I did it, which was October 2016. And it's called Sarasota County Auctions, October 2016. And so as this opens up, and I hope I did click on that, just thinking about it. And of course, my computer's slow. So the spreadsheet that com comes up, and you can see I have different tabs for different months. Um, since this one doesn't look nice, I'm just going to go to this May one. I'm going to create a duplicate of this page by right-hand mouse clicking, move or copy, create a copy. And so now I'm just going to create a copy of this worksheet in this Excel workbook. And so I just created a copy of May 2016. Something to note at the top here, a security warning, some of the content has been disabled. There are macros built into the spreadsheet, and so I have to, I actually have to, I'm going to save this, save as, and I have to enable those macros before we really do anything. So I'm going to save this as, and this is going to be 2017, and this is going to be April. Okay, and I'm going to spell it right. So we're saving that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just close it and then reopen it, and I'll show you how to enable the macros that have been saved within this within this worksheet because they're really handy. So just closing it, and then I'm going to open it up. A 2017 April. So there's going to be a little thing that says options here. Options enable this content. You have to do that in order to use this macro that I built in. Okay, so down at the bottom I now have two, a second tab here for May 2016. I want to rename this tab and I'm just going to I'm going to simply double click on it and I'm going to call it uh, April 2017. Okay, and I'm also going to delete the data with the exception of the header and the first line here, and there's a reason for that, and I'll show you that in a little bit, but I just want to get all this data from May, get this out of here. So, we're, so as you can see, May had about 100 and, 122 auctions, 
and so I'm just going to delete that. Okay, so now I should have a nice clean spreadsheet, and I'm basically going to start pasting the data somewhere, anywhere here. It's fine. And so the first thing I need to do is I need to open the first day of the month, and that's May, April the 3rd. And so I double click on this date, and it's going to show me all the auctions that occur this day. And I want this data. And as you can see, it's not in a format that's very easy to, and they only show 10 at a time. So I'm going to highlight just the data. So from this auction status, okay, down through the end of the data, I don't want the I don't want to get any of this other stuff in there or it's going to mess me up. I just want the data. So I highlighted from the first auction status down through the bottom. And now I control C. That'll copy. Or I can right hand mouse click on it and copy either one. And then I go over to my Excel spreadsheet and I'm simply going to paste that right here. Paste. And so that data should be pasting. Come on. And I see it's not responding for some reason. I'll let it give it a minute. Okay, now that that's copied in here, um, you can see that it's really not in a usable fashion for Excel. But before I before I work my magic on this, what I'm going to do is I am actually going to get a bit more data for the rest of this day because I could see that there was a page two to this to this and so the page two consisted of hmm, no wonder I have way too much stuff open sorry all right now I'm back to it Sorry about that. So the page two of this, page one of two, this is page two. So there, I, like I said, there were 13. So I'm just copying down. Come on. Of course, my computer is slow. All right, so I am now copying, or attempting to, highlight this data. Okay. Right hand mouse click, copy, come over to Excel, and I'm going to leave one line and paste. Oops. So, paste. You can use Control V, Control C. Makes it a lot faster. Okay, so now I have all this data in uh, a semi-usable, but not quite. So I need to transpose this data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy from foreclosure. I'm just going to copy this row to the bottom. This isn't where the magic happens yet, but it will be. I'm going to right-hand mouse click, copy. And then I'm going to put my cursor, I'm going to just put it right, well, for right now, I'm just going to put it right here, and I'm going to paste special. This is a key, because I want to transpose. What it does is it creates a row out of a column. So it took all this data and put it all the way, so it scrolls all the way. And I'll show you what, what we're talking about. All this data keeps going all the way over here, okay? And so that's what I really want, and I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. Uh, let's get rid of at least 13 lines of it. Just get rid of it. Because this is where the magic happens, and the magic happens because of this one fact. And so what I'm going to do, and that's what this macro does, okay? I'm going to put my cursor on the first foreclosure where I want it to create a new line, and I... Hold the shift, control shift, J. And it will copy it and paste it right below. And I will continue to do that, control shift, J. And it will magically. Now there you can see it had a couple extra spaces, so it moved over. So control shift, J. And 
It'll just you can just keep doing this. Control Shift J. Now I will have a little cleanup to do here because sometimes there's a little extra there's a little extra data in there. In fact, I'm going to clean it up right now and move this line back over where it should be. Delete. Shift shell cells to the left. I want it went too far, so I'm going to insert. Move it back over to the right. So what it's doing is each time that I hit that Control Shift J, it's it's grabbing, grabbing this data and moving it down a line and taking everything else with it. Control Shift J. If my computer a little faster, it would happen a little faster. Control Shift J. There are a couple extra lines in here, so that's going to cause me to have to shift it over again. Unfortunately, when it copies over, sometimes I get too many lines in there. You know, the spaces in between, it's, it depends how it gets pasted in. Delete. Shift shell cells to the left. Let's get it back up, lined up. Let's come back over here. And now, Control Shift J. Control Shift J. And it keeps doing that to me. And unfortunately, if I do it again, if it's all the way over here, then it's going to. It's not going to grab the whole. I'm going to have extraneous data. Oops. Delete shift cells to the left. So it's lined up again now. All right. Control shift J. Recording. Control shift J. Now it seems to be working. Control Shift J. Well, did it again. There's only one more. I'll just do it. Control Shift J. Okay. All right. So it does a pretty good job. I just need to really get it to. So I just have to clean up this data and move the. Just delete the extraneous cells. Shift to the left to move everything over. Get rid of these cells. Delete. It's it's not perfect, um, but what it does do is a lot faster than trying to manipulate this data. It's it's not great. So and you can see this is kind of why it's a, a tedious process and why especially when your computer is slow. So, shift cells to the left. Okay. So now I have this data pretty well organized, and this is almost good enough. Um, the last thing I want to do is I want to know what day this auction is. I'm going back to the to the data that we got this from, and I can see that this auction time, which didn't, I think we didn't keep this bit of data here. I'm just going to Control C. I'm going to copy that timestamp and I'm going to put it right here. That's yeah, so date and time. And this is the same for everything so I should be able to just grab that down. Okay, so that's on the third. Okay, so that's one day. Now I only got like 20 more days to do. So so let's see if it goes a little faster now that... Oop, sorry. Okay. I'm going back up. I'm just going to go to the next auction. The next auction is on Tuesday the 4th. Now, you're going to see in this case there's only there's only two auctions. So, and they were both canceled, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Um cuz retrospective, we don't know when we're doing this. We don't we're not looking for auctions that have already occurred. So, I'm simply going to go here. 
paste this stuff. Okay, good enough. Um, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a couple more. Now, see, now I didn't delete the other data, so I, I need to be careful with that. And so I only had two there. I want to get rid of all this stuff because otherwise I forget. So I'm just gonna delete that stuff. So since I only have two auctions here, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab the next day to well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do it like we said. And so I'll do this again. Copy this, control C, and I'm gonna paste special. This time I'm gonna do it right here. Paste special and I'm gonna transpose. Okay. And then since there's only one other one, I just put the current cursor here, control shift J. Okay, and I put it there. We get rid of the rest of this stuff. And the only thing is we got to keep that date is important. I'm going to get rid of that. And so this date for these two auctions is going to be the fourth. And so I'm just going to fix this and make it the fourth. Okay. Enter. And just drag that down. Okay. So now we're on to the next day. Next auction. Which is going to be on Wednesday the I suppose I should be using my mouse I'm a little quicker with that. Okay, so now we're in Wednesday. Wednesday, there are there's only one page worth. So from here, I'm highlighting all this up to right here where it says auction status. Copy that. Come over to Excel, and I'm going to paste that. It doesn't really matter where you paste it here because I'm going to grab it and transpose the data. And so... So slow. I mean, come on. To restart this computer. Okay, so like I said, we're going to highlight from foreclosure on down. See those extra spaces? That's where it, that's where it screws up. Copy. And I'm going to put eight here. I'm actually going to leave a space just so I know it's a new day. And I'm going to insert copy cell. Or I'm sorry. Paste special, transpose, putting there. I'm going to get rid of everything so as not to get confused. And I just hit delete. Okay, it's gone. So, move over here, put my cursor right there. Control Shift J. Now, it's close. Control Shift J. Control Shift J. A little faster computer. This goes a lot faster. Control Shift J. I can tell that's going to move over and cause a problem. So you, as you can see, that's going to it's going to copy from there over. If I don't shift this over at this point, that's why I'm going to just bring this back in line. Delete. Shift cells to the left. Okay. Do that, and then I can I can put my cursor just by anywhere. Control Shift J. Oops. Control Shift J, and it moves it down. Okay, I think that's it. So now I just got to clean up these columns. You do that by a delete to the left, delete to the left. Okay, and now the date we know that this is the fifth. I just need to change that to the fifth and copy that down. Okay. All right. So on we go. So we almost have one week done. We're about a quarter of the way there. And this is this is about an hour's worth of work. And so we're going back to real foreclose. We're going to go to the next auction. About half the time I'm sitting here waiting for my computer, unfortunately. Again, we only have two auctions here. Makes it easy. I'm going to highlight this to auction. Flip back to Excel. Is that? 
paste this. Because I can't grab just that column. That's why I have to paste the whole thing. And then I have to... Let's get from foreclosure to here. Copy. And I want to transpose. Paste. Transpose. Okay, special. Transpose. Okay. Now, I can also grab this. This is that date. I can just move it up there like that. Get rid of all the junk. And I just got to do it one time. Control Shift J. And get rid of those extra spaces. And that one looks good. Delete. Shift cells to the left. Drag this guy down. That is good. And go to the next day. So we're on Friday. Almost done with the week. Oh, no auctions on Friday. So we are done with that week. So we're on to Monday the 10th. And again, we have two pages with two pages of auctions here. So I want to I, I need to copy and paste twice. So I'm going to grab all the auctions from today. Come on. Come on, computer, get down there. Almost there. Okay, and do hidden. Copy. Put it right here, and we're going to paste. And so we're going to let that. Okay, we're continuing on. I'm now on the 12th of April. I'm finishing this off. I'm going to finish this. And it's just a matter of copying and pasting. I had to restart the computer because it was just a little slow. It should have been a little quicker. So, like this is still slow. Okay, that's a little better. So, again, I'm going to copy from foreclosure. Just copy that column. And there's a little extra data, but that's okay. I'm going to place it right next to, right next to this date to make it easier. Paste special, transpose. I'm going to do this ten more times. And then get rid of all the junk that I don't need. Delete. And then come over here. Oh, I see I have an extraneous set of data there I need to fix. Let me do that first. Control Shift J. I move that over there. Okay. And I'll fix that formatting in a minute. Control Shift J. Yeah, it's those extra spaces when we copy it over. See, it's not regular. So, control shift J. Control shift J. And when that cursor appears and there's data there, I do need to drag it over, otherwise, it's going to be a problem. So, just do that. Delete. Shift cells to the left. Okay. I'm going to fix this one while I'm at it. And I'll fix the formatting afterwards. Delete. Shift shells to the left. Okay. And come back here. Control Shift J. And again, Control Shift J. Next one works. And so what I'm in essence doing is I'm copying this this group and everything that goes after it, and I'm putting it in the the right spot, which in this case would be right there. So I'm just going to fix the formatting, delete, shift shells left, so it all lines up nicely and we can upload it to our maps, delete, I copy the date down, make sure I don't have any extraneous data, delete that. this down. Okay, and good. And we move to the next day. That was the 12th. So I'm going to go to the next auction. Next auction is the 12th here. Make sure I get 
everything. It's those black lines that uh, randomly appear that cause problems. Control C, I'm going to copy that, switch over to Excel, I'm going to paste it. Now the reason I have to do this is because I have to paste everything and then I can just grab this column, which is all I really want, copy, and then I want to paste special, transpose, boom. Okay, so grab that date, I'm just going to put that next to that line, yes. I'm going to get rid of all this stuff, delete. Okay, and I do my control shift J. Control shift J. Control shift J. I see the cursor is on something, so that's I, I definitely want to move the stuff over. This whole line I want to move over. Delete shift to the left. Fix this one while I'm at it. Delete left. Control shift J. Control shift J. Control shift J. When this works, when those extra lines aren't in there, it works really well, but actually delete that. Move back over. Control shift J. Let's see, I can move it over again. Delete. And this will fix this one while I'm here. Delete. Okay. I know it's kind of tedious and boring, and I'm going to fast forward. So. You're not missing anything. It's more of the same. So it's just uh, formatting and fixing, and I'm going to do this a couple more times. And so I'm actually going to pause the video at this point. I'm going to go ahead and finish this, um, and then I will turn it back on as I do the last couple. It's another day. All right, so I'm going to pause this. Okay, so I have completed doing the copy and paste functions, and so now I just simply need to go through and clean up this spreadsheet. The first thing I want to do is I kept this line from before because this cell I want to use. What this does, in order for me to map this on Google Maps, I need to concatenate, meaning to take the contents of this cell with a comma, and then add it to that cell and that's what this this formula does is it concatenates those two cells and puts them together now we need to make room for that in here so I need to put a space and move everything over um, here so I'm whoop, escape so I'm simply going to insert a cell and move all that over insert shift it to the right and now I can copy this cell down here, which concatenates it all. And so, as you can see, what it's doing, I copied the formula all the way down. It's thinking about that. So it'll take Bellmead, and in here, if I were to extend this out, it'll be Bellmead, comma, Sarasota. And so that's how Google Maps can then see this. Um, the last thing I want to do is copy down this formula here that determines if it's a potential or not. This is what I use to analyze whether or not this pro each property is going to be a good deal. Okay, And so it's a maybe or a no or a potential. So I want to get rid of this first line because that, that was from before. So I'm just going to clean up the spreadsheet and get rid of some of the blanks here um, and just just make it a little neater here. So I'm just going to delete some of the blanks. I found that that Control Shift J worked well um, 
for the future auctions. It was those old auctions because there was some extra data in there that's normally not there in a past auction. And so when I got to the present where there is, um, where there, delete, where there was no um, history about the auction, whether it sold or was canceled, then that control shift J worked very well. So I'm just cleaning up, getting rid of the spaces and um, delete, almost there, a couple more. Okay. So this is about the format that I need, and um, I can totally use this. And from here, it's very easy to create the Google Map. Um, so now, um, now I create the Google Map from this, and that's a hard part. There's a few zeros in here. Um, I usually just blow these away, and I'm just going to get rid of those because there was no address given by the tax appraiser, so that doesn't really do us any good. It was If there's multiple parcels, there's no information, so I usually just get rid of these guys. If there's not an address, I just get rid of them. And I can use a sort function, um, but it's just as easy to do it this way, and um, that is what we do. Okay, so it is pretty much done. Uh, just get rid of a few more of these blanks. And this is ready to be created into a Google Map. And that is the last important thing to do is now that we've done all this work, we want to save this. This is saved to Sarasota County Auction Summary 2017 April. Save as. Fix that. And that is how we do it. There we go. All right. So I'm Jules Roman with Yorkshire International. Uh, we were able to take the data from, from the Sarasota County auction site, put it into a spreadsheet, and if you can think of a better, faster way to do it, there's just no easy way other than to click on each one of those days, copy and paste. And so, um, so that's it. So the next month is May, and what I just want to show you real quickly is in May, these auctions are scheduled only 30 days out, so um, there's not many that are going to be scheduled because today is the 18th. So there are some, but this calendar will fill up. That's why we like to do it about on the first of the month. And so right at the first of the month, calendar should be pretty well filled out uh, for the remainder of the next month. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate your help in putting this together.